Edson, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, you're a few days since the fight, or till the fight, how, how are you feeling? First, I'm very, 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 very happy, you know, uh, and I'm feeling ready to go. Can't wait to be Saturday night. After your win in Kansas City, you were calling for a big fight. You said that you kind of felt felt like you deserved one. Well, you you got the main event. How does like you know, at at this stage of your career, you're still in the game, still looking good. Was it was it very um? Were you very happy to get that main event? Of course, you know, like you said, man, it's a long, long way, and UFC still bless me to to have opportunity to fight against the best guys in the world to fight a main event i'm very happy like i said i love the company i love you know the opportunity he gave to me and and a show like always man when I, every time i separate i go i give a good show for everybody i think saturday is not going to be different a couple a couple weeks ago you, you shared a picture of, uh, of 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 your body and people were just going crazy um i mean what have you been doing? Just working out, getting your body healthy. That's it. Just work hard. Try be healthy as possible. You know, have two kids. Super hard. You know, yeah, I love sugar, but yeah, man, you get older, you need to understand your body. And now I feel strong and faster than ever. You know, because I work super hard too. Super, super hard. Were you surprised that people were freaking out about that picture? A little bit, you know, because, yeah, in, if you see the picture, I'm, I'm looking huge, you know, but I know I'm not that huge because, you know, the picture life was a little bit, but definitely looking good. <laughs> awesome. Um, fighting Sadiq Youssef, I just wanted, wanted your thoughts on, on the matchup and how do you see – him as a fighter he's a great fighter he definitely one of the best in the world you know he's number 11 in front of me in the rank it's gonna be a war like always you know everybody know every time we step in octagon i give a good fight and this Saturday is not gonna be different it's gonna be a war yeah i mean on paper it should be just a very fun fight both of you guys are striking we all know that how diverse your striking is do you see that kind of ha how the fight's going to play out, or do you think there is, there is going to be some grappling and, you know, because it is a mixed martial arts fight? Yes, exactly. It's a MMA fight, you know. I need to be ready. Or if this fight go, I need to be ready. And I'm ready, you know. And it's a MMA fight. But everybody knows my style. Everybody knows the game plan is always the same. And stay in the feet, try to stop him, try to finish the fight as soon as possible. And, but... Whatever these fights go, I'm ready. How do you see the fight going? Um, do, you have a, do you have a prediction for the fight? I see the fight with the end, with my win. That's what I see. I don't know if it's going to be for decision or no call to submit, but I know if I go there, I give my best, I'm going to win this fight. And finally for me, I just want your thoughts on last week's fight with, with Bobby Green. He's a UFC veteran like yourself, going in there and knock Grant Dawson out. What what was your reaction to that? First, I was a little bit sad because Dodson's my trained partner, you know. I know I, I saw him, I watched him train for this fight. He trained super hard. I know he's more than ready for that. But he catch with a good shot and the fight's over. And, but like I said, man, Bob Green, like a 37 like me, he still put a show. He's a great fighter. I have opportunity to fight him a couple of years ago. He's a great fighter. Uh, good luck. Thank you. So over here. Obviously, it seems like you're in great spirits being back here, but you're also entering this fight back in the win column. How does that feel? Feel good, happy, you know. Uh, making me very, very excited for the next one. I'm very excited for Saturday. Obviously, your opponent, Sadiq Yusuf, he's actually a guy you were supposed to fight back in 2020. Has your approach towards him changed at all since then? Not change at all, you know. I think in that time he's back in the rank. Right now he's in front of me in the rank. I think the only that's a different. I think I have a more experience a little bit, you know, because I fought more than him. And yeah, God knows, you know, everything. I think the fight, I guess, him come in the right time.
Thank you. Thank you. Just one question. So last fight you were um, in an arena back in the apex. At this point in your career, does that really make a difference or more just focus on the opponent than the location? 100% more focus on my opponents, you know, because the octagon is the same. Just me, my opponents, and the referee, and, and my team, you know. Outside, of course, I love to fight with the people screaming, of course. But fighting in Apex is very fun, too. And I have opportunity to fight one time here. And, bro, to be honest, I love to fight in Apex. <laughs> and so when you're fighting, is that the fans really something that you pick up on? Or are you kind of just locked in, don't really notice when they're going crazy? Sorry. So, like, when you're fighting in an arena, do you notice the fans when you're fighting in, in the middle of it? Or do you not really kind of just shut it out? To be honest, I, I hear all the time my quotes. I try to hear my quotes and hear my opponent's quotes. And, but, yeah, I mean, especially for my style to fight, you know, because every time I connect some good bombs, I see everybody like, oh, ah, you see the screaming, you know. But the Apex, I think the Apex have a couple people there. It's going to be the same. That's all for me. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you.